Right, it's day two in uh, Udai Club and I'm uh, making my way to the Jagdesh Temple which is literally just around the corner from my hostel it's the first time I've uh, been in and this festival that is happening today I'm not exactly sure what time it's supposed to kick off it's just before two o'clock and it does look like uh, there's quite a bit happening People are certainly getting ready for it. <laughs> oh, can we actually go in the temple? Let's go and take a look. Oh, they're certainly getting prepared for something. making my way to the front of the temple now it does sound like something's about to happen they were building a stage yesterday and they got the loudspeakers up which they're now using so who knows maybe the procession is about to start at two o'clock after all the guy from the hostel wasn't sure he said something two or four <laughs> it's crazy a big festival like this and even the locals don't know to unlodge a GoPro battery from my GoPro because it's swollen and the little pulley thing is no longer there so yeah it was a real struggle and uh, a policeman helped me and got it out and I've asked them what time it's uh, all kicking off and one of them said three and one of them said half past three so even they don't know <laughs> going on judging by the amount of phones that have been held aloft in the air
even sure what this festival is all about. But apparently it does go on right up until the evening, till midnight. But wow, that was quite scary to be honest. And the police have just got no control over the situation at all. I mean, even here, coming out of the clock tower, there's not one way to get in and one way to get out. It's just basically everyone's going in the opposite direction and just getting in a, a big mess in the middle and not being able to move. It's crazy. I'm trying to make my way back to the area where I'm staying, but that would mean walking against the parade. I don't particularly want to do that. Now I have found that there is a little uh, side street, literally just a few meters um, like up the parade, but I just can't get anywhere near it. You just get to a certain point and then it's just a crush. I don't particularly fancy uh, getting back inside that crush because that was pretty scary. So to get back to my area, I'm going to have to do a bloody half hour loop. <laughs> Maybe uh, if I just do the half hour loop and get back to where the procession started, it might be uh, a bit quieter down there. <laughs> we'll see. Yesterday I was on the rooftop of the hostel and we got talking about the YouTube channel and stuff and uh, I mentioned Bald and Bankrupt and the guy who runs the hostel did actually know him, I was surprised. And uh, he said he used to be a, a big fan, but not anymore. When Bald and Bankrupt released the video with Howard Boulder, where they both jumped into the lake to try and swim to the hotel in the centre of the lake, that was here. I didn't know. That was here in Udaipa. They uh, jumped in from the guard at the other side, where you have to pay to get in. They tried to swim across to the uh, lake palace or whatever it's called. And the angry policeman came and they had to swim back. And uh, the guy in the hostel was not happy about this. He was, uh, he stopped watching his videos after that. He said he showed a remarkable amount of disrespect. So uh, yeah, he lost at least one vlogger with that video. But yeah, it happened right here and I didn't even know. I'm back at the temple now where the procession began. It's a lot less busy than it was an hour or so ago. 